have you been? Do you care? No. Is that why I ask, then? Just curious. <laughs> Bars, clubs, anywhere I could get a drink. What, till late in the morning? Yeah. Who were you with? No one you know. Oh, and, uh, no one female either, if that's what you're thinking. I wouldn't care if you were out with every tart in Manchester. Except someone should warn them what an animal you are. Say what you like, Sally. You can't make me feel any worse than I already do. Good. And I hope you feel like that for the rest of your life. Ruth, just phone, see if I fancy going out for a the day. There, Che. You stick a pint of milk, Ash, right? Hey, you could pay for that. It's only a pint of milk. Well, I'm sick of you walking out with stuff you've not paid for. Look, it goes in your cocoa as well as my coffee. 38 pence, I'll put it back. Anyway, I said, why don't we just go and have a look round shops? But Ruth said she hates looking at things that we can't afford and we don't need. Which is true, really, isn't it, if you think about it? Cos we only buy that stuff cos everyone else does. So what are you gonna do? Promise you won't laugh. Can't promise either. We're going ice skating. <laughs> oh, I used to love going there when I was little. It was never any good, though. Ruth says her and Ben go loads. Well, I hope you have a nice time. I will do. See you later. See, See you. ya. There you go. Have you no smaller? No, I don't, as a matter of fact. Anyway, listen, are you really happy about Zoe spending so much time with Ben and Ruth? Well, why shouldn't it be? They're very nice people. Yeah. All right, I didn't like them at first, but they mean well. You've got to give them a chance. No, I reckon they're both still well weird. Why? Because they don't dress all scruffy and go boozing every night. And they think about more stuff than each top at chat. You sound just like your Uncle Fred Ash. Hey, well, if you think they're weird, you should see some other people she used to hang out with. You going into the office? I can't go out, can I? Not without having to lie about where I got this. Do you want me to take the girls to school? I don't want you anywhere near them. I'm keeping them here with me today. If we do venture out, it's just going to be to the paper shop on Rosamond Street, see if there's any flats for rent in the Gazette. You moving out? I'm not living with a man who hits me. Sally, I am truly sorry about what I did. Save your breath, Greg. I don't want to hear it. I can't even bear to be in the same room as you. But we've got to talk. I thought you preferred using your fists. It'll never happen again, I promise. I'll make sure it doesn't. At least hear me out. No way, Greg. My father, not my mother, about for years. But she was too stupid and too scared to do anything about it. And I'm neither. And I vowed no man would ever lay a finger on me. Or if he did, he'd only do it once. Can I uh, offer you a cup of tea? Uh, no, thanks, sir. I can't stay, really. Ah. Uh, right, well, I'll, uh, I'll leave you to it, then. I was round saying goodbye to a patient, so... I thought I'd pop round and see how you were. Uh, I'm just on my way to work, actually. You know, I had this mad idea about you changing your mind and coming with me. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you. The way I see it is that I've done something wrong and the only way to put it right is for me to support Jim, if he'll let me. Well, I guess he'll forgive you eventually. I don't think I'll forgive myself. I think I ought to go and see him. No, Michael. That'll only make things worse. No, I feel I have to talk to him. Especially with him finding out the way he did. So you feel guilty as well, do you? Of course I do. But I don't intend to let it ruin my life. Well, I don't think it's a good idea. I doubt he'll even let you in. Well, I'm still going to try. Bye, then. Bye. All right for some. Don't you believe it, mate. I was drinking to forget. Mind you, 
I did meet this gorgeous blonde in Fleet's wine bar. Absolute goddess. Oh, yeah? And what about Sally? We, uh, had a bit of a bust up. Really? Yeah. Silly cow lost me an order worth 30 grand. How? How oh, blabbing to people she shouldn't have, you know what they're like. Oh, 30 grand? Mm. Anyway, we, uh, had this massive row, things were said, and I lost it. You hit her? Oh, I shouldn't have. Not proud of myself, but 30 grand. Oh, domestic violence is not my bag, sorry. I oh, know, she hasn't gone to the police. But she has said she doesn't want anything more to do with me. I see. Tell you the truth, we haven't been getting on for a while. She's so clingy. Absolutely no business sense whatsoever. She's actually quite thick. It's tasty, though. She's yours if you want to. Oh, got enough on my plate in that department. I don't know how you keep up the pretense. Well, there's a lot of steak, isn't there? What I want to know is, if she does sling a rook, what's going to happen to the business? What the hell do you want? Well, I knocked twice, but no one answered, so I've let myself in. Get out. What do you mean the curtain's closed this time of day? And what's this? I said get out of my house. Not until I've said what I've come to say. It's time you stopped behaving like a selfish old git and faced a few facts. <laughs> Just look at you. Drowning in self-pity. Hating everyone. Do you ever stop for just a minute to think how Liz might be feeling? Liz! You slept with her in my bed in my house and now you propose to waltz in here and give me a lecture about it? What happened between me and Liz wasn't planned. It wasn't some plot to try and get you. In fact, we fought against it. Oh, did you know? Oh, well, what they do? What do you want me to do about it? Celebrate? No, but you should be man enough to accept that it's happened. And let Liz go. Oh, believe you me, Michael. The further she can go away from me, the better. In fact, I never want to clap eyes in the pair of you again. Can't you see it, Jim? It wasn't ever going to work out between you and me. <gasps> well, it certainly wasn't going to work when you were around, was it? Tell me this, Michael, and tell me no more. Is this a regular practice of yours, eh? Is it? To prey on cripples. Don't think of yourself like that. You can walk now. Got your whole life ahead of you. Me and Liz love each other. I know that hurts to hear it, but it's about time you started facing the truth. She wants to come with me. But she can't because of some stupid, misguided loyalty she feels towards you. Do you know something, Michael? You were sent round here to help me pick up the pieces of my life. Not rub it in the dirt and destroy it. I'm trying to help you now, but you won't listen. You betrayed me, Michael. And you deluded yourself. Do you know something? I hit you more than I hit her. You see, she couldn't help herself. She never could. But you, you ought to know better. I've done nothing I'm ashamed of. It just happened. You've got no shame. You've got no decency. Let me give you a word of advice. Get out of my house before I kill you. There's a bank mandate. Yeah, checks require both signatures. Yeah, so I can't just carry on without her. Well, strictly speaking, you shouldn't even take a fiver out of the petty cash tin without her say so. You're kidding. I thought you were supposed to be looking out for me. But this is what you set up. And if she does decide to dissolve the partnership, she can do it tomorrow. She's legally entitled to take out every penny she put in. Well, she can't do that. I've got to keep this place going. It's my livelihood. Well, you better see if you can patch things up with her then, aren't you? As I had. Hiya. Oh, hey, Zoe. Guess what? What? I've got a job. Hey, fantastic. Where? The, the ice rink? 
No, we went ice skating this morning, then we went for a cup of coffee. And uh, they told me about this job that was going where they both work. Great. So, what are you going to be doing? Working in an office. Wow. How in, Natalie? I'm gasping for a pint. You sure you won't come with us? No, I'd sooner stay in and watch telly, thanks. Yeah, well, there's plenty of beers in the fridge. Cheers. Yes, just help yourself to whatever you fancy. We won't be late. Yeah. Have a nice time, Mum. You're spoiling. Well, I'm just trying to make him feel at home, that's all. Well, I'd sooner you drop a few more hints about him moving out. Oh, well, that's charming, that. That's his mum, I think. And her husband. Which house? It's that one, there. You sure? Of course I am. Phone him. See if he's in. Vodka and orange, please, Lorraine. He's looking sorry for himself now for you in this car. Look, he's having us on. We'll never get shot of him. He just needs somewhere to stay till he gets back on his feet. Treats the place like a hotel. I want him to. Can I have a large vodka and tonic and a pint, please, Ray? And I don't believe all that crap about being in the music business for one second. Oh, so he's a liar now, is he? He's a skiver, I know that. God, you don't sound like an old fart, Des. What do you want me to do, put him in the army? If you want the honest truth, I think he's up to something. Like what? Well, I don't know. There have been some very unsavoury characters hanging around the house. Well, some people might refer to you as an unsavoury character. And he's asked me to lend him money. When? Yesterday. Thinks he's going to get a sub on what you get when you sell the house. Daft Aper should have asked me. Did you help him out? No. Why? Well, what does he need money for? Because he's skint. No, that's 380, please. Look, Depp, thanks, Lewin. I know it's not a perfect start to a marriage, three of us under one roof. But at least try to make him welcome, will you? Because otherwise, when he does go, he's going to stop away altogether. Whatever you say, dear. Well, anyway, so what if he's got a few shifty mates and owes a few bob? Who doesn't? It's no big deal. Hello, mate. How's it going? Sorted. trying to avoid me, it's only. Of course not. Only, you just took off. You never left an address and out. It's only thanks to Jason here we managed to find you at all. I've been only here a couple of days, then I'm all coming straight back. You got the money in ours? Yeah, of course. Good. But not here. You are. Where is it then? Well, look, I've been much about I'll have it for you. I'm getting sick of your games, Tony. Look, I swear, I'll have it for you, mate. I don't think you're giving this matter enough urgency. What you need, pal, is a little geo. Come on, mate, just a couple more days, I swear, I'll have it for you. Please, girl, don't, mate. Do you hear that? What? Like someone shouting next door. No, it must be hearing things. So who's this office work for then exactly? Dunno. The money any good. Find out when I get there. So you didn't have to interview or anything? No. So they haven't actually offered you the job then? Well, Ruth said she put a good word in for me. So she phoned up front cafe and they said I could go along on Monday for a what's it called? Um, an induction. Well, I think it's great. And dead chuff for you. Well, when you get down there, ask if there's a job going for Nick. No, I've already got a job. Since when? Uh, today. Oh, uh, yeah. Doing what? Um, just working at the labs at college, clearing up and stuff. Nick, that's brilliant. Why didn't you say anything? I forgot. Oh, come here. I'm dead proud of you. Ow! What's this? Oh, it's mine. Give it here. It's a mucky book. No, it's not. Give it me now. Uh, it's full of pictures of naked men. Let's have a look. Oh, my God, it is. No, it's, <laughs> it's just for a project I'm doing at school, all right? Oh, yeah, and what project's this? Uh, just a project on physique and muscle tone. And what could they possibly teach a man with your physique, eh? Oh, come here. <laughs> oh, and how big is the garden? It's just I've got two little girls. Yeah? W would there be somebody there between 10 and 12? That's great. All right. Thanks very much. Thank you. Bye. You serious about leaving? Dead serious. They for me, are they? They're your favourites. I've got a great game for the girls as well. Oh, you can stick them both in the bin. 
Sally, please. Do you honestly think you can fob me off like that? Use the girls to get to me? I was just trying to make things seem normal. You should have saved your money. Was it my money? I know you hate me. You've every right to. But we can't just throw away everything we've got because of one mistake. You make it sound like all you did was stay out late one night. Look at me! I have never done anything like that in my life before. And I never will again. I don't know what came over me. It's like all the pressures of the last few months just built up. All that sneaking around, Kevin finding out, trying to get the business off the ground. The four of us cooped up in this tiny little flat. Then I find out Baldwin shafted us. I just snapped inside. It was him I wanted to lash out at, not you. Save your excuses, Greg. I've heard it all before. My dad was always dead sorry once he'd hit me. Mom always swore he'd never do it again. I'm telling you the truth. Every word. I'm not living with a violent man, Greg. Not with two little girls to think of. So what you like about Kevin is never laid a finger on me. Sally, I love you more than I've ever loved anyone in my life. I'll never be able to look at you again in the same light. I'll never be able to trust you. I'm so ashamed. I hate myself. And what's worse, what's really cutting me up is what you were saying about growing up with a violent dad. Vowing he wouldn't stand for it. Every day of my life I've said the same thing to myself. You mean your stepfather used to hit your mother? Not just my mother. Thanks. Hi. 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 How's Jim doing? It's fine. Glad to hear it. God, I've met some stubborn so-and-so's in my time, but that Jim really takes the biscuit. Pleased to see you, was I? I was lucky to get out of there. I told you you were wasting your time. I had to try and make me peace with her. So, when do you start your new job, Michael? A couple of weeks. I've got to work through my notice first. Then I gotta get down there and find somewhere to live. Do you fancy coming with me? I could do with a second opinion. I know, I know. All right, I'll see you. So, what did love away have to say? I beg your pardon. I mean, it's a bit close to home, isn't it? Even for my standards. Who told you? I don't think your main worry is me, knowing it's the uh, it's the man in your life. I mean, I know he's stupid, but uh, he's not that stupid, is he? He already knows. <laughs> what about that? Went down well. We're sorting it out, all right. So if you've come to gloat, don't bother. You know, I tell you what makes me laugh: seeing other people unhappy. When Fiona found out about me and Maxine, you were the first to jump on your high horse, weren't you? And now, uh, now you're sleeping with Dad's physio. I mean, it's a bit of a, a bit hypocritical, isn't it, really? Can't you go and drink somewhere else, Steve? Don't worry, I'm going. Take no notice of him. He's right, though. I am a hypocrite. No, you're not. <sighs> Can I ask you something? Yeah? Why the hell are you staying round here? You're mad. Not you as well. Jim's not going to thank you for it. And even if he does take you back, he'll always hold it against you. Steve's a dead loss. Honestly, if I was you, I'd be on the next train. It's not that simple, though, is it? It's that simple. Michael is a lovely man. And he's offering you the chance of a fresh start. It'd be running away. No, you wouldn't. Getting away from Steve and Jim would be a bonus. No, I can't. Why not? 
Is it really so terrible that you might come out of all this happy? Go to sleep. The thing was, from the outside, everyone thought we were the perfect family. Nice big house, loads of money. That's what they thought. Was he very violent? Violent enough for us both to be afraid of being alone in the house with him. Oh, God, it must have been awful. I try not to think about it. I certainly don't talk about it. Maybe you should. It's all in the past. At least I thought it was. These things screw you up in words you can't imagine. You can't talk to someone about it, you know. A professional person. There's only one person in my life I feel I can really talk to, and that's you. I shouldn't have got into this, I'm sorry. Where are you going? Pack a bag. It'd be better if I stayed at a B&B while you found somewhere. You don't need to do that. I think I should. If we had another go? Are you serious? Sal. So... But I'm warning you. You so much as wears your voice to me again, and that's it. Hope he hasn't drank all my cans. Oh, I'm sorry I'm not supposed to say things like that anymore. No, you're not. What's all the lights doing off? Is he in bed? Mm -hmm. Tony? Oh, my God. Tony? 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 We'll get an ambulance! Ha, ha, ha.